What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over tips that every Fortnite player needs to know in Chapter 4 Season 2. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below one tip or one thing you had to change that has helped you the most in Chapter 4 Season 2. The first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the Mythics, because the Mythics this season are very good. There's a Havoc Pump Shotgun, a Havoc Assault Rifle, and a Mythic Pulse Rifle as well. There's Mythic version. Yeah, so... The Mythic uh, Havoc shotgun, I will say, is really well, but you do have to have uh, somewhat precise aim to use it, in my opinion. But if you're hitting headshots or um, shoulder height and above, you're, you're pretty much going to do some pretty high damage there, as long as you're getting those area, that area of dead zone. <laughs> The assault rifle can be found from a boss that spawns in at, sec at second zone. It's not there off spawn. You have to wait until second zone for the boss to spawn in. And they spawn at Mega City, Shattered Slabs, and Brutal Bastion, along with two guards. They're not hostile by default, but once you start fighting them, they will aggro you. They're super easy to kill, and when you eliminate the boss, they drop the key card as well as the mythic assault rifle. Yeah, that's correct. Um, those are the bosses for the vaults, I believe. And when you take this key card to the nearby vault and open it, the Mythic Havoc shotgun will be chilling in the vault. And this shotgun is very good. There's also two golden slurp juices in the vault as well, which I think is the best healing item in the game right now. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to take those. And the Mythic shotgun is insane because it can hit for 250 damage on a... Exactly. 250 damage, guys. Just got to make sure you're hitting those headshots or shoulder and above. Perfect shot. So in zero build you could one pump somebody with a perfect shot and build mode you could one pump somebody with a non-perfect shot and then the mythic uh, assault rifle is also very good and i feel like there's been some confusion about the, these weapons because there's three of them so it's not like it's random in a given match where the boss is going to spawn each game there will be a boss at shattered a boss at mega city and a, ba a boss at brutal bastion so there's three versions of the ar and three versions of the shotgun per game and they do not the boss doesn't spawn in until second zone like i already said so it is very very good i would definitely recommend going for this even if you don't want to land at any of these pois by the time you loot your poi and then rotate to the other one you should be able to get it like when i go frenzy i've been rotating to shattered slabs recently and then just kind of by the time i get there the boss has spawned or it's relatively close to when the boss is going to spawn we can hang out and kill them anvil same way you can go to shattered or brutal uh slappy shores i like landing at and then i could just go to brutal afterwards and if you like mega city or any of the other pois around mega city by the time you clear them and get to mega city you should be uh, around the time the boss is going to spawn so even if you don't like Come. landing at any of these mythic pois you can take advantage of them still because of the way the boss spawns is a bit delayed so i would highly recommend rotating to a mythic poi after you clear your first uh, spot there is a lot like they changed the zones this season in a weird way and i feel like they kind of gave you more time to do things like this to go clear bosses or you know clear other POIs. i agree with that i feel like these zones have been taking a lot longer this season and not like a lot longer a lot longer but like a decent amount of time to to where you can gather up your loot and do vaults and things like that. But I actually didn't know that those bosses didn't spawn in until the second circle. That was something I wasn't aware of, so that's a good tip. After you clear your first POI, and I feel like that is kind of like what Epic was going for. They don't want people just rotating around the map looking for kills. They kind of want you rotating with more intention. Like you clear your POI, you loot up, and then you go to the mythic POI, fight the boss, open the vault. And then from there, where do you go? To the island. The island spawns in at third zone, and this is where you get the mythic pulse assault rifle from capturing the point on the island. And it also does spawn slurp juice when you capture the point as well. Like I said, I think this is the best healing item in the game. We'll talk more about it later on. There is a vault on this island as well that you can open with keys, but I didn't really get anything special from this vault. It's just like a few chests, whereas like the vaults that you open with the key card, it's very special because there's a lot of chests and the mythic pump shotgun is going to be chilling and the mythic or the legendary slurp juice are just going to be chilling on the ground or on like, uh, you know, the containers in the vault. You don't have to open chests. Right. They're just there. So yeah. the island vaults meh, but the mythic pulse rifle that you can get from the island is very good. And I feel like this kind of plays into what I was saying. They want you to like kind of go on these direct paths. And I guess it's kind of meant to like direct traffic in that one way. 
you know, because like you might not be able to find people, but if you go to the island, there's probably going to be other people going to the island. If you go to the boss when it spawns, right. there's probably going to be people going to the boss uh, when it spawns. So it's like, it's yeah, like obviously traffic in a way. Uh, I think this could work, but for now, for so far the season, a lot of... Hey, what up, Harry? Yeah, so uh, basically we're just watching some, and reacting to some YouTube videos. That's what I'm doing the rest of the stream. Um, right now, this is 10 tips every Fortnite player needs to know in Chapter 4, Season 2. I'm just checking it out and uh, reacting to it. How you doing? One of my games have been super dead in Zero Build. Like, you get into fourth zone, which is pretty large, and there's like eight people up, and it just it makes the game pretty boring sometimes, and it just really really rewards patience you have to be very careful to not just get too pa too impatient and, and uh, like lazy and then start taking really bad fights just because of how long the game has kind of dragged on yeah i've uh, been there before so <laughs> i would definitely recommend going for these mythics i think they're very good nice even if you don't like landing at the pois immediately you can rotate to them the katana is also super important in chapter 4 season 2 i'm sure if you've played it all you know that there are these sword racks in the new biome that just spawn and you can get them from there so they're kind of like the oathbound chest but they only drop the sword and i believe these are guaranteed spawn rate i don't land in this area too much but as you see on the picture i showed there is a lot of these sword racks around this biome so if you land anywhere here you really shouldn't have a hard time getting a sword there's also an npc east of citadel that sells, sells it for 250 gold oh NPC okay i didn't know that well wow, which is really nice so if you like landing at citadel or maybe even breakwater bay and you happen to not get a katana you can kind of pick one up on your way through here there's also an NPC. Well, that's nice to know. And also, yeah, I was wondering about that because, like, obviously, uh, Harry, I've played with you before, obviously, on this new season. We've ran into issues where we couldn't find the katana at all, but apparently they're around the Mega City area. I mean, obviously, they're going to be there because they have the, uh, the houses and whatnot, but... <laughs> on the outskirts of mega city that can be dueled for a katana as well it's super okay really so cool. she gives a katana this clip here it was kind of scuffed because i just did it in a custom match and uh like i only had a maven shotgun but when i fought them in an actual match and had like the mythic pump ready it was super easy to eliminate them and so there's a lot of ways to get it you can land no. in the new area and get one of the sword racks you can buy it from the npc outside citadel you can duel this npc for it and there may be other npcs that sell it on the map or that you can duel for it i haven't been able to check all of the npcs as of this time and then also you could just find not 100 percent drop rate i was wondering about that he said he wasn't sure either so it in general loot like it's not like you have to get it from these special areas these are just at least we know you can buy one though from the npc over at citadel though that was some good information I haven't checked on. Because I usually fucking hate landing at Citadel anymore. Ways to increase your chances of getting it, but you can find it anywhere just as like normal floor loot. And it also can be found from hollow chests for one key, which is a really nice addition because if you're ever, you know, not in a great spot as far as loot is concerned, hollow chests are like a good way to fix that. Or if there's hollow chests at your area and you happen to not find one, but you have a key, you can maybe buy one. One thing with the katana though is you have to be careful not to hit anything when you use it. If you're standing too close to a wall when you use it sometimes, if you're like trying to get away from a fight or reposition in a fight, if you're like standing too close to the wall, you might brush up against it. And when you hit something with this katana, it stops you. So like if you're in a building and you try to use it to get outside, you're just going to hit the wall and stop once you break. Are there some vending machines with them too? I didn't know that. Good information. Thanks for that, Harry. Break the wall. This is very different from how the shockwave hammer was because with the shockwave hammer, you could break objects, but you would be sent flying like through it essentially. But right. Yeah. The katana, Fuck the shock hammer. Thing, it breaks your momentum. This is something. Katana is way better. Way better in my opinion. And I know you agree as well, Harry. Katana is way better. Ten times better than the hammer. You have to be very, very careful about when you're playing the game. Uh, I myself have messed this up several times. I've seen other players mess it up. You just have to be more like kind of con 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 conscious of where you're going. I can't talk. Conscious of <laughs> where you're going. And if you're like accidentally running into something, this and this can be weird in certain areas where like the hit boxes of certain objects are, you know, larger than they would seem. I'm sure a lot of you remember last season with the trees having like the biggest hit boxes ever. Anytime you try to hammer, I've noticed. Oh, bro, those fucking trees. Those trees. <laughs> You've heard me complain a million times about this. Those fucking trees, they did not account for having the hammer in the game with those trees. Like, every time you go to hammer, bro, you just fucking hit the bottom of that tree. 
I read that there was, but yet uh, to see one in a vending machine. Yeah, I haven't seen one in a vending machine yet either. Just some areas like that as well getting in the way of uh, using the katana. So just be careful when using it. I think it's very good. I would definitely recommend using it. And there is a lot of ways to get it. Talked about Serb Juice earlier and how it can be obtained from vaults. Those are the main ways you can get it. The vaults, the island capture point and then also the supply drops that come in you have to like capture them essentially but once you do capture them you can get the legendary slurp juice from it and it is very good so uh, i think this is the best healing item in the game right now they changed it to where it used to just give you white or blue based on what you needed like it would fill white first and then your shield up to i think 75 right it gave you 75 now it gives shield and normal health at the same time and it uses much faster and it will get you to 100 so it yeah so ex yeah exactly these exotic slurp uh chug jug things for sure 100 percent um heal you shield and health at the same time get you up to 100 no problem i always try to whenever we go vault hunting i usually try to keep at least four of those in my inventory if i can Ticks faster now. Make Mega City uh, bigger and bring back Spider-Man Mythic. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought Spider-Man Mythic back, to be honest, at some point in the future. I, I think they're going or planning on eventually doing another um, Marvel crossover, if I'm not mistaken. I know people were talking about it and wanting it, and obviously everybody wants Marvel crossover because Marvel's, let's just face it, the best out of the two dc and marvel marvel's gonna win every time but yeah <laughs> now i think it's like i totally HP agree harry a second but in reality i think it's like 12 hp a second if i remember correctly because it's giving you shield and white at the same time and it will give you 100 of each you could be at one health when you drink this and then you will be at 100 100 by the time it's done working it's very yep. good i would highly recommend carrying it if you're able to get your hands on it like i said you get it from the vaults you get it from supply drops and you get it from the island capture point point. and this once again kind of plays into what i was talking about earlier in the video where it seems like epic kind of wants you rotating with more intention you rotate to the vaults get the mythic and get the slurp juice maybe if you end up using it you go to the island you get more or you just prevent other people from getting it and getting the mythic pulse rifle i think a lot of how this season is played is going to revolve around these rift events because we have the island now but it has been leaked that there's going to be 16 more rift pois like this and i don't really know if they're just going to replace the island or if it's going to be the island in addition to other these these other pois as well i think that could change the game a lot as more of those end up getting added I could definitely see that. I could see them adding more of those loot islands that spawn in and just float above the map around. Kind of like we had the balloons a couple seasons ago, the fucking uh, hot air balloons with the vaults. I could see that happening. Um, as well as what you were saying about make Mega City bigger, I totally agree with that. I was kind of upset because I thought they were going to make the whole map this season Mega City. Like everything Neo Tokyo. And just have like the whole map one giant city i thought that would have been cool into the game now we're going to talk about snipers because i'm sure many of you are aware the heavy sniper is back and one interesting thing is that sniper glint is a part of the game so if you guys have played other shooters you're probably aware of this mechanic where when a sniper is scoped in you see like a flash from their scope and yep this makes it very glint. easy to spot them if they are in your vision or your peripheral vision if somebody is like behind you this really isn't going to do anything for you but the sniper glint is very bright and very noticeable and it can kind of been be seen by bushes as well i had my friend test this with me in a, a private match and he's kind of just showing the glint off i already kind of had clips of pl it playing to show you guys the glint but once he goes into a bush you can you still kind of see it yeah i'm not really sure if this would give somebody's location away i feel like i can only kind of notice it here because i'm actively looking for it and i know for a fact he's in that bush but bushes do uh kind of still obscure the glint. i mean I think if you know they're in the bush if you know they're going in the bush, you can obviously see them if they're trying to snipe you from the bush, though. So that's the advantage there with that. Because you can kind of see that glint still, so... You can kind of see what their position is in the bush instead of just randomly shooting. Or at least put Mega in the middle. I mean... We'll see how it pans out. I could go either way, though, on the location of it. I just thought the whole map would be Mega. And that kind of upset me, to be honest it's like 80 percent obscured uh this was something i was wondering as soon as they added snipers or when when i noticed that's 
kind of true, Harry. Um, I could see that. But again, it just it still depends on where circle is going to go. So it doesn't... I don't think it would really matter. Because you could have... Yeah. Uh, you know, you know how you know how Fortnite works. You could have a uh, circle all the way down in one corner of the map like the entire game. So maybe you'd have people land at Mega City in the middle, but um, still like a lot of people are going to try to land in that circle and stay in it as much as possible. New POIs have always been middle of the map. That one I don't know about. The sniper glint was in the game i wanted to see like do bushes hide it and i think for the most part bushes do get rid of the glint or make it to where uh, you won't really notice them so while sniper glint is still in the game or it is in the game you still have to be very careful of snipers camping in bushes and obviously snipers sitting behind you the heisted exotics are also back in chapter 4 season 2 and you can get these from hollow chests for two keys so there's no guaranteed way to get them it's not like how it was in the most wanted event where there's bosses that drop them or you can go to the vaults i had people telling me you can get them from the vaults or that there's exotic chests in the vaults that grant it but that is not the case the only way i have seen to get these exotics the heisted exotics has been from the hollow chest yeah so you don't get them from vaults you get them from hollow chest i haven't even really seen any like heist exotics since uh they took it out besides the red eye that was like the only one i've seen uh since they got rid of the heist so I'm not even sure if like all of them are going to be in the hollow chest because the red eye is the only one I've seen. Let me know in the comments if uh, you guys have seen other mythic ones or not mythic, but exotic. They're not from bosses. And then the final thing I want to talk about is the thunder shotgun because this has been vaulted in chapter four, season two. But as of right now, you can obtain it by eliminating the NPC at frenzy and i believe there's a polar bear in the ice area as well that drops it when you eliminate them they will drop a white thunder shotgun and unfortunately this thunder shotgun cannot be upgraded it's stuck at white rarity but if you really want to use the thunder shotgun this is how you get it or if you died to somebody who was using the thunder and you were wait what a polar bear and a white thunder shotgun super confused this is how they got it but that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys found it helpful and informative huh. if you did give it a like subscribe comment down below one tip that helped all right for season two and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching well i mean there's there's definitely some stuff there that um and there's definitely some stuff there that was pretty good to know a couple things i didn't know about everything else was kind of just like basic knowledge though from my understanding of what we've already known about the map for this season so uh, this might have been you know when the the season first came out though i mean it was nine days ago but whatever hey guys if you like the video make sure you head over to the page hit that like button scroll over smash that subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for future video drops and i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching